Hello and welcome to a student's review of the academics at ISO Kolkata. Hi, I am Akash from the recently graduated 19MS batch of ISO Kolkata. I majored in physics and I am also an incoming PhD student at the Fritz Haber Institute in Berlin, Germany. Now in the first year of the 5 year BSMS program, one has to study all the subjects which includes mathematics, physics, biology, chemistry and earth sciences. Additionally, it also includes a few courses on computer science and humanities. In the second year, one has to choose three pre-major subjects and in the third year, one of these pre-major subjects is allotted to be your major subject. Major allotment is usually done on the basis of merit if there are a lot of people applying for a particular major. So say there are 50 seats for physics major but 60 people are applying to get physics major. In that case the allotment would be on the basis of merit. Otherwise everybody gets their preferred major. Now as I said ISA Kolkata offers five majors which is maths, physics, biology, chemistry and earth sciences and usually there is a cutoff for physics and biology and not everybody gets these majors though this is quite rare that some people don't get the preferred major now in the third and the fourth year of your bsms a number of courses would be mandatory and you'd have a number of courses which you'd have to choose from your major subject you can also choose courses from other subjects to say earn a minor in that subject but you also have to consider the fact that you need to earn a certain credits to get the major degree now to earn a minor in a certain subject you need to take a certain number of courses and get a certain amount of credit to get a minor in that subject now ISO Kolkata offers minor in all the five major subjects and it also offers minor degrees in computational and data sciences and humanities and social sciences. It's also possible to do a credit transfer from NPTEL courses though the procedure depending on the instructor can be quite complicated. And recently due to the implementation of the new education policy 2020 it's also possible to get a BS exit from ISIS. It's becoming quite popular to take the four-year BS exit and do an integrated PhD say in US and Australia. In fact, many in this current graduating batch have done so. Now for the award of the Master of Science degree, one has to do research work in their fifth year towards the master's thesis. And one has to defend their thesis at the end of the fifth year. And this is not trivial in fact it does happen at either that people are unable to do a successful defense and this can lead to your degree being extended so that's something to be considered if you're joining ISA. now few departments at ISA kolkata do allow you to do your master's research work outside the institute these are physics earth sciences and the bio department that allow you to do a year-long ms thesis outside of ISA kolkata now, to get a MS position outside ISA, there are several methods. Uh, there are official partnership that ISA has with uh, ENS and Max Planck and others. And you can also get a master's position via cold mailing. Now, the procedure to do an MS thesis outside ISA is not very straightforward and a lot of required academic criteria have to be met. And it also requires a lot of paperwork though I would say it's quite worth it. Now coming to the research, I can only speak of the physics department at ISO Kolkata which is called DPS, Department of Physical Sciences. So DPS is the largest and the most sought after department at ISO Kolkata. It has an assortment of professors and the groups who are working on a wide range of research subjects in physics. However, there aren't a lot of experimental groups at the DPS though this is a problem that's not just exclusive to ISA Kolkata but it's a general problem of most of the Indian research institutions uh, primarily due to the lack of funding and also the industry collaboration at DPS uh, can be improved further so this is something that they are working on they have 
recently come up with the Isa Kolkata Incubation Center where they fund entrepreneurial projects. With this, we come to the end of uh, this academic review of Isa Kolkata. Thank you for watching.